The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Around the sixth year of the Arabic Hijri calendar. During the month of Shaban, the bad Banu Mustalik was planning to attack the Muslims. Hearing that, the Prophet secretly took around 700 Muslim soldiers with him before Banu Mustalik could attack them. Some Munafiq or fake Muslims like Abdullah bin Ubay were also in that group. Suddenly, the Prophet attacked the Banu Mustalik to stop them before they could hurt them. Most of the men escaped, but the women and children were arrested. One of the prisoners was Juwairiya, peace be upon her. She was one of the leader's daughter. She was very impressed to see the beauty of Islam and became a Muslim. To make a friendly relationship with that tribe, the Prophet married her and released all of the prisoners. What happened to the fake Muslims or the Munafiq group? The Munafiq or fake Muslims were very bad. They did not want the Muslims to have any success. During the Banu Mustalik event, suddenly two Muslims started arguing with each other for a very silly reason. One was Ansar, the Medina's Muslim, and the other one was the Muhajir, the Makkah's Muslim. Some of the Medina's Muslims started to support the Muslim from Medina, and some of the Makkah's Muslims started to support the Muslim from Makkah. Then, then two Muslim groups were fighting with each other. The Prophet became very angry and ordered them to stop the evil grouping. Later, the bad Abdullah bin Ubay tried to break the unity of the Muslims and made the Medina's Muslims angry at Makkah's Muslims because he hated the Makkah's Muslims. Later, he lied to the Prophet saying that he did not do that bad thing at all. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent part of Surah Al-Munafikun to tell the truth about the bad false Muslim Abdullah bin Ubay and cursed him until the Day of Judgment. He had a very good son, and his son became very angry at his father and did not allow his father, Abdullah bin Ubay, to enter Medina. Finally, the Prophet allowed Abdullah bin Ubay to enter Medina. But after that event, the people realized how bad he really was. So, he lost his respect after that. Another big thing happened during that journey. The Prophet's wife Aisha Radintala also joined the Prophet in that journey as well. When they were returning home from Medina, one night Prophet Muhammad وسلم, decided to set camp. After a while of resting, Aisha Radintala realized that she had lost her golden necklace. So she tried to look for her necklace, but accidentally went a little further and no one knew that she had left. After finding her necklace, when she returned, the camp had already left. At that time, she was only around 15 years old, but she was very brave. She thought that the Muslims knew that she was missing. So, she waited at the same place where the camp was set and fell asleep. 
Luckily, there was a Muslim soldier, Safwan peace be upon him, who was very behind from the Muslim group because his job was to see if there were any bad people who were coming to attack the Muslims from behind. But since he overslept, he was even more behind the Muslim group. After he woke up, he started to move to Medina. On the way, he saw Aisha Radentala, and he recognized her right away. He immediately gave his camel to Aisha Radentala and helped her to catch up with the Muslim group. When they finally caught up with the Muslim group, at that time, it was noon, so the Muslims were taking a rest at that point. When they saw that Aisha and Safwan, peace be upon them, were coming, the Muslims were very surprised. When they knew the real story, the good Muslims accepted that event very easily. Soon after, Aisha Radantala reached Medina, and she became extremely sick for a whole month. At that time, the evil Abdullah bin Ubay and his people got their chance. They started to spread scandals against Aisha and Safwan, peace be upon them. Inshallah, in our next episode, we will know what happened to Aisha Radintala after the big scandal against her. Well, that's all for today. Also, did you know we opened a brand new channel called Muslim Heroes and Inventors. During the golden age of Islam, Muslims created many things that changed the world forever. To learn more, make sure you go and subscribe to our new channel and then share with all of your friends and family.